everyone. Today I will take you through a 20 minute yin practice for your back, which you can do at any time of the day. You can have a block ready, a bolster or a pillow, and then come to lie down on your back in Shavasana. Bring the soles of your feet together we we'll spend a few minutes in reclining cobbler's pose. So knees wide, feet together. You can place one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. And get grounded. Arrive on your mat. No, there's nothing to do right now and nowhere to be but here. Feel the rhythm of your breath. Your inhalations and your exhalations. And allow the sounds around you to slowly fade into the background. With your next exhalation, release all the air. And take a nice deep breath in through the nose, into the belly. Feel your ribs expand and feel your chest rise. And with your exhalation, release chest, ribs, and belly. Three-part breath. Again, breathe and fill up. And release. One more breath together here. Inhale. And exhale. Continue on your own, slightly lengthening your exhalations longer than your inhalations to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, calming the mind and calming the body. And release your hands and reach your arms over your head Stretch your fingertips away from your toes. Big stretch. And we start in Banana Asana, which is our side stretch. Walk your arms, your upper body over to the right. Then tap, tap your heels over to the right side as well, creating a nice half moon shape. And you can stay here with your hands side by side, your legs side by side, or you can cross your left ankle over your right ankle, maybe hold your left wrist with your right hand. Well, you have some time here. Now sink into this sensation, sensation you feel all along your left side body. Lateral flexion of the spine here. Remember to find your edge, find that place of resistance in the body, and find stillness, and then hold. Very simple, not easy, but simple in practice. If at any time you need to come out early or you need to adjust yourself I'm giving you the flight plan, but you are still flying the plane. It's your body and your experience. So please take care of yourself. If the body is asking you to move deeper into the pose, you can take that on at any time. Find that next edge. deep breaths.
Slowly release the pose, come back to neutral. And we'll continue right on the left side. So walk your arms over to the left, your legs to the left and settle in. You can use this time to really go inward when you're getting distracted, your attention wanders, you come back to the breath, come back to the body, find an anchor to come back to this moment. Gently release the pose. You can come back to center and just relax. Relax your arms by your side. If you feel you need a little movement in between these postures, take it and then come to rest. Hug the knees into your chest. You can walk side to side a little bit. Reach your right arm over your head and roll over to your right side and take a moment in fetal pose with your right arm as your pillow. And then roll all the way around and come into your tabletop. And we'll take four cat cow breaths here. So get set up on your inhalation. You're arching the spine, the belly releases. Inhale, your chin tilts up. And on your exhale, chin to chest and round. And then take the next three on your own. Nice deep breaths in and out. And our next, next posture is melting heart pose. Walk your hands forward. Keep your knees and your hips aligned and then release your chest, your sternum towards the mat. And you may choose a prop underneath your chest, maybe underneath your ribs, maybe underneath your forehead. Walk or pillow. Your forearms can relax into the mat. It's up to you if you want to make this a little more active can keep your elbows lifted. Soften the shoulders. And just remember in this yin practice, there is no forcing or pushing or relaxing the muscles because we're moving into the deeper layers of the body. The connective tissue and the joints Anytime there is tangling, numbness, or pain, adjust or come out of the pose.
And to release this pose, bring yourself back into a child's pose with your arms relaxing, fingertips back, so arms over your thighs. And our next posture is a child's pose. You can reach your fingertips forward again. And there's an option here to prop your elbows up onto two blocks, get a little more shoulder opening, but you can also make it a little bit more restorative and take maybe your pillow or your bolster underneath you. It's deep breaths in, deep breaths out. make your way into any form of relaxation and that may be in your child's pose with your arms reaching back maybe you want to lie down for a few moments and then bring yourself into a seated posture can roll to your side again any way you want to get there bring yourself up open your legs nice and wide into a straddle then bring your left foot into your right inner thighs this half butterfly and release over your right leg you can use your props you can use your block or your bolster if you're unable to release forward then maybe sit on the little height or bend your right knee. You want to feel that sensation in your low back as you're coming forward.
slowly bring yourself back up and switch to the other side. So right foot to your left inner thigh, release forward. Slowly bring yourself back up. You can bend the knees in front of you and maybe sway your knees side to side a little bit. And then lie down onto your back for your final Shavasana. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. And you may stay here for as long as you like. I'm going to leave you with this reading and it's called Being. Today I trust that just being is enough. Rather than making myself crazy and tired by trying to figure out the answer, or see the picture, or work out how it will all work out, I choose instead to focus my energy on staying present, enjoying each moment as it presents itself. I open my eyes to life as it is right now. I know the gift of clarity will come when the time is right. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.